How y'all doing? This is George at Wicked Warnings here with a brand new Z71. We've got a whole lot of lighting on this particular truck. As you can see, we've got the roof lights going. We've got razors in amber white in the grill. We've got linear six in amber white in the nostril. We've got TIR3s down by the fog lights. All right, once we get up out of the weeds there, you can see the nostrils with the linear sixes, the alternating TIR3s in the fog lights, as well as our razor in the grill. On this truck, we also used the front flood for the razors, and uh, that definitely puts out quite a bit of light. Just to give you a little example of what four razors in flood mode will do, right now we're in a dark shop. We're just uh, sitting here with the parking lights on, and I'll turn on the flood for you. That is the amount of light output you're going to get with four razors. It is about the equivalent, I would say, to a small set of fog lights. It easily lights up the entire shop area here and puts a lot of light out on the road. As you can see on the steps, this truck also features our three-quarter LED, two color in amber and white. We have tied in the amber portion to the parking lights and we've elected to flash the white lights all in unison against the roof. The roof will alternate with the side steps. The roof and the side steps will also work normal when not in strobe mode. As you can see, when we shut off the flasher switch for the sides and the roof, the roof returns back to standard parking as on the sides the white flashing goes off. Here you can see a little reflection in the back of our LED HAW duos. And in the front of the truck there, we've got our four razors again, our linear sixes in the nostril, and our TIR3s in the front fog bezel there facing sideways. This is a plow truck, so we were trying to do a very good job for side warning. Let me show you the back end. So out back, if you remember, we have some LED HAWs in the back. And as you can see there, we've got our white HAWs, four in an X pattern. We retained the factory cargo lights in that third brake light, by the way. We've also got our amber HAW duos in the steps, side fire, in the rear bumper. Here you can kind of see how those rear bumper steps and the front fog lights when activated provide plenty of warning to the sides of this vehicle. We also elected to do our steady burn light option on the LED HAW Duo sets, which you can see right here. We've got all four steady burning. Now let me flip the camera and show you how much light output four LED HAW will give you. So here we are again facing backwards, same dark shop, same parking lights on. Let me throw on the rear flood mode, which is four LED HAWs. As you can see, plenty of light. I would equate this to almost the same as the four razors. Definitely lightens up the shop, kind of messes with the camera even a little bit. Now I know it's coming, the how is it switched questions. So this particular customer we went with the 4200 Mini and uh, we mounted it right here in the center of the console right there. We left enough room so you can still open and use your cigarette lighter adapters if you like. And as you can see, you get the backlighting on the 4200 Mini. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. What we elected to go with was hood grill, front flood, step lights, rear lights, and rear flood. We chose those with cooperation from the customer. This is the mini switch panel. You can activate your circuits like so, and you can turn them all off. You can shut the whole thing off. You can run it in standby so at night you can see your different legends comes with a ton of different legends mounts really nice right here the front area of the new GM trucks thanks again for watching wicked warnings make sure you subscribe like our channel follow us on all the different social medias and uh, check the video description for all of the products in this video that we offered as a package as well as individually Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for truck strobe lights and construction strobe lights.